Hey ladies and gentlemen, Simon here, and um, it's quite early in the morning, it's 7am, um, one thing I don't miss about, you know, Star Wars trailers coming out is uh, the fact that they would come out like right in the middle of the night uh, during Monday Night Football, um, it's like 2am for me when that normally comes out, and if this had been like a big movie, I probably would have stayed up to react to it, but um, we do have a sneak peek, a special look into The Mandalorian Season 2, Um I was honestly expecting like a full trailer for this, so it looks like it's just like a minute long. So it's not gonna it's not gonna be a, a, a big thing. I don't think it's gonna reveal a massive amount. Um but hopefully we'll get some good little snippets that we can look through. Um obviously with the first trailer there was a lot of interesting stuff in there. There was a few things that I picked up on, I think a fair few people picked up on, and there's obviously been lots of rumors going around about who's going to be in season two and what's going on. You know, people seem to think that um, Sasha Banks, who played the mysterious hooded character in the first trailer, um, is going to be playing Sabine, one of our old Rebels favorites. Um, I'm less certain on that. I'm more thinking that she's going to play a Force-sensitive Jedi. Like, maybe not a Jedi, but possibly an apprentice, an early apprentice of Luke's, or someone who has Force abilities, or maybe a former Inquisitor. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, she could well end up being Sabine. Um, I'm just not always 100% certain on the recasts, you know, like, I always prefer to kind of leave characters as they are in the animated sort of series, but it would be cool to see them come to life, I won't, I won't doubt it, it's just, you know, you become so used to the voice actors playing them, like Ashley Eckstein as Ahsoka, um, is perfect. You know, if she was to be recast, it'd be difficult, you know, in terms of, like, getting used to it. But at the same time, it'd be pretty cool to see, you know, those characters brought to life on screen. So it's a difficult one. It always is kind of difficult to be like, yeah, that would be cool. But also, I've got some reservations. So um, we'll see exactly what they're going to give us here. But, you know, I think he's going around looking for, for Jedi. He's looking at Jedi temples. You know, it looks like he's going to go to Ilum, um, which is going to be interesting because... Ilum is currently surrounded by Imperial forces, or at least it was at the height of the Empire. Um, and we know it becomes Starkiller Base later on. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he gets around any kind of Imperial forces there. But um, you know what? We'll see exactly what's going to happen. So we are going to jump into this little sneak peek. So uh, yes, here we go. Let's jump in and see what happens. Oh. So they're aware of him. I'm here on business. I need your help. I've been quested to bring the this one back to its baby. Country. If I can locate other Mandalorians, they can guide me. Okay, he's looking for Oh! Okay, that maybe gives us an indicator as to that it is Sabine. Oh, oh! It's an old Imperial transport. Here we go. The Mandalorian new season streaming October thirtieth. So not a lot in there. Um, like I say, it's only a minute long, and I didn't expect it to give us any big reveals or anything. Um. They really aren't showing us too much for them this season, you know. Usually you would get two big trailers and then maybe a couple of TV spots. Uh, but so far we've had the one medium-sized trailer, the sneak peek, and, you know, there may have been one or two TV spots that just contain the same material, but nothing new. Um, the only thing that I really gathered from, you know, that trailer, again, there's nothing that I feel especially... Um, needed to, to go back and, and watch again. Um, he's looking for Mandalorians, so that might give us an inkling into the fact that it could be Sabine, um, who he, he sees, you know, at Sasha Banks' plays. Um, I'm guessing at some point, it would make sense if he did find Sabine, Sabine could t t tell him about more about the Jedi, could tell him about where to go to find them, um, and that would lead him to a search you know, to um, some of the temples where he would inevitably run into the Imperials because the Imperials probably still have, you know, forces um, at those sites because they 
they did have a stronghold on most of the Jedi temples during their their time. Um, I like seeing the old Imperial transport. We got to see a little shot of it in the first season, the one from Rebels. Um, but this, you know, we actually get to see it up close and personal and in action, so that's pretty cool. I like that they bring in designs from other shows, and um, you know, especially Rebels, that takes a lot of inspiration from the original Ralph McQuarrie kind of concept art. Um, it's nice to see that kind of brought into it. Um, but like I say, nothing major necessarily revealed. It looks like we could be going back to Tatooine. Um, as I say, there was a shot in the first trailer of some Moncala and some Quarrel, so we could be going to Moncala. Um, who knows? Um, it's really not given us too much of an insight, but I'm looking forward to it, obviously. Um, I'll be reacting to everything on this channel, so if you haven't, subscribe, check that out. Um, but in the meantime, let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Um, yeah. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you very soon for The Mandalorian.